Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about the database backups. We have different kind of backups that are there, like um, full backup, differential backup, transaction log backup, copy only backup. Split backup, Mera backup, they log backup, like uh, file backup, file group backup. There are different kinds of backups are there. First, see what is full backup and how to take it. So, if we take the full backup, it will take the backup of whole database. Like, if I take the backup of the test database, it will take the backup of every file inside it. See, we have a data file and a log file. If you have multiple data files and multiple log files as well, it will take all the data which is in the data file and as well as the log file. Understand? So it will take a backup of the database from the beginning of the database, like from the creation of the database. Just imagine the database is created long back ago, like one year ago, two years or five years ago. It will go back to the creation of the database and then it will take the backup of the whole thing. Okay. Full backup, we can also call it as a foundational backup, I can say. Full backup. We can also call it as foundational backup. Why we are calling this as a foundational backup? Why? Because we cannot take any other backups without taking full backup. Because we cannot take differential or a log backup. A log backup without taking a full backup. So you cannot take differential backup without taking a full backup. So that's why we call it as a foundational backup. Got it? Full backup is a cumulative. That means, imagine if you have, if you are taking the backup for every day, like Monday to Monday to Saturday. If you need to, you know, recover the data from Monday to Saturday, you don't need all the you no know, all six backups. You just need recent the full backup. So recent full backup which was happened on Saturday that is enough to recover the database data. Understand right? That means a Monday database backup having, you know, a Monday data. Tuesday, you know, Tuesday backup will having the data Monday as well as Tuesday. Like Wednesday backup file will contain Monday, Tuesday plus Wednesday data. So like that, the data will be cumulative. So if you want to recover the data, you need recent full backup. Okay, you don't need all you know previous backups. That is cumulative one. Let's see how to take a full backup using GUI. Let's go to the database, right click, task, backup. And select the type of the backup, full differential or log. I'm selecting full. And this is the default path which we have given at the time of installation. So I don't want to put the backups here. So I'm just removing the backup path. I'm adding a new one. Just pointing it in D drive. 
um, MS SQL backup. I'm just giving the name. The naming convention should be like, uh, I'm just giving the database name first, test underscore. Instead of space, I'm giving underscore. And then what type of a backup I'm taking, that is full underscore at the time. I don't know what date I have taken the full backup. That is 17 John 2024. And I'm giving the backup extension this dot bak so we don't have to you know select any of this thing just you know, leave it as it is if you want to take it as compressed backup just select as compressed backup that's it you don't have to touch anything here okay i'm just clicking on okay yes the backup is completed you can you know check the backup is you know happened or not like d let us five. Where I have put this one? I'm just checking. Like, let's remove it. Instance default instance backup, right? So instance default instance MSSQL server MSSQL backup. See here, test underscore full dot BAK. In the same way, we can take the backup with the script as well using the script. So, backup database, database name, so disk is equal to path where we have to put the this backup files the same path we have to give here sorry the path should be in single no the path should always be in single quotations and the file name should be paste underscore full underscore 17 john 2024 you can say 24 dot bak and the security quotation is closed just select this one and execute it that's it what happens see okay let's see what is differential backup So just imagine you have taken a full backup that is a size of you know 100 gb of a database so uh, and again you have added just 100 mb of data so if you don't want to lose the 10 100 mb of data you have to take another full backup it will take more time and it, the space will come like the backup file size should be near to 100 gb right so to avoid these things we can take the differential backup. So what is differential backup will do is it will check for the recent full backup and it will capture the changes which was happened after the full backup. Just imagine like now the time is like 12.8. If I take in the full backup at 12 p.m. It will check for the recent full backup and then it will take the backup of just this eight minutes. Got it. If I take a backup of, you know, full backup at 12 and after that 12, 10, I'm trying to take the differential backup. It will take the backup of the 10 minutes of the data. It won't take the whole database backup. So it will save a lot of time and the space as well. Understand, right? So it will check for the recent, recent full backup. And captures the changes which happened after the full backup. Got it? So 
So we cannot take the differential backup without taking full backup. Got it? Because whenever it, you know, it try to check for the recent full backup when the full backup is not available, then it will fail. To check that one, I'll create a new database. Phase three, I'm giving the name. So I'm not taking any full backup directly. I'm taking differential backup on it. I'm selecting differential and I'm taking the backup here. See what is the error? Cannot perform differential backup for the database test three because a current database backup does not exist. That means the current full backup is not available. Let me take the full backup here first and then we'll try. I've just mm -hmm. taken the full backup. Now I'm taking the differential backup here. This backup, I'm selecting the differential backup here and I'm removing the old path. I'm selecting the new one. Test three underscore differential dot BAK. So BAK is the extension of the backup. See it worked. Understand, right? Bubble backup, the extension is dot BAK. The same thing for differential as well. Okay, let's take a backup. So, you know, differential backup with the script. Okay, backup, database, database name, to disk is equal to, path you have to give, this is copying this path, and the file name, test underscore differential dot vak, you can give any name like, okay. But if, I, if you can give the name like this, you can easily identify it, like what is the database name, what type of a database it is, and which date the database has been taken. So all these details you can get to know. With the differential. So this is the script to take the differential backup. Just select it and execute it. That's it. See this one. Not this one, right? Yeah, this one. Test underscore differential dot BAK. This way you can take the differential backup. Okay. Let's see the log backup. What is log backup? Log backup, you can also say the transaction log backup. So whenever we create the database, there are two files to be created, data file and a log file. So if we perform a log file, it will take the backup of the data which is present in the log file only. It will not take the data from the data file. It will take the data from the log file itself. Okay. Cancel. It captures the data which is present in log file. See, at the same time, another thing will happen that is the data which is present in the log file, the same data will be flushes to the data file. The log file will be free and the data will be flushes to the data file. That will happen. And also happen the data which is present in the log file will flushes or moves or truncate, whatever you can say, which to data file. Okay. So whenever the log file is full, you can also take the log backup. So whenever you take the log backup, the data will be removed from the log file and it will be dumped to the data file. Understand? The two things will happen here. Let's take a log backup. Just taking the log backup. Right click, toss and backups, you can select the backup here, it's log transaction log backup, remove the old path, I'm just adding a new path here, I'm giving the name as 
paste underscore log dot trn. For the log backup, the extension is trn. Okay. So the log backup extension is trn. Not you know, dot bak. It's just trn. Just You see the script will be a bit different here. Backup log database name to disk is equal to path. And the name of the log backup is test underscore log dot tier. I'm just giving you know two G's here because we have the same backup name already. Okay. Okay, back has been created here. See, test underscore log. So, unlike the full and differential backups, log backups are not cumulative. Log backups are not cumulative. That means if you're taking a log backup every day, that means if you want to recover the data, you need every log backup. From Monday to Saturday, you need every log backup. If you miss any one of the log backup, you cannot do point in time recovery. You cannot fully recover the data. Understand, right? So that's why for log backup, we need, we have an LSL. For every log backup, we have LSL number. What is the lesson? Log sequence number. You understand? We have a log sequence number. Because log backups are not cumulative. Differential backup is also cumulative. That means you have multiple, if you have multiple differential backups, you just need a recent differential backup to recover the data. You don't need you know, all the previous backups. So full and differential backups are cumulative, not log backups. Log backups are not cumulative. You need every log backup to recover the data. That's why we have a LSN number for log backup. So these are the backups, you know, database backups part one. In the part two, we'll be discussing about the special backups like copy only backups, split mirror, tail log backup, file backup, and file group backups. Okay. Thank you.